In this short and simple tutorial for new beginning Blender users, I'll show you uh, how to take advantage of the global and local axes when moving your object around and uh, editing your scene. And it's a really, really powerful feature uh, to know about, especially if you end up programming Blender in the future. So uh, one of the real advantages of Blender I find compared to other animation systems I've used over the years is that by default, if you notice the uh, axes here, it has X, the Z axis is up in the positive direction and the Y axis is the green arrow over here and the red axis is in this direction and you can see it replicated right here the little small symbol and you can control this symbol just by turning this on and off if you want to see it alright so it's on by default well the advantage of this is this is a standard form for three-dimensional axes in mathematical notation as well whereas in some systems they'll use Z uh, in forward and backwards as a distance but this is this is actually more useful for a lot of reasons because of this orientation like this but let's just say for instance as I'm rotating around the scene you can see the x-axis here pointing out towards me right now it's moving and it's also moving over here at the same time alright so this is your global axis and it's basically showing you which way it's pointing which way your objects pointing in the scene alright but if I take the object itself I right click on it and I press R followed by the Z key and I want to rotate around this blue Z axis here so I press R followed by Z and I'll just rotate it a little bit and then I'll notice that this x-axis is still pointing in the same direction y-axis is still pointing in the same direction now remember where that is I'll do it again RZ I'll rotate a little bit more same thing so this is your global axis for the scene right here however there's another axis to that you can look at and that is the axis associated with the object itself within the scene so let's I'm going to press control Z and put this back to its original orientation like that the cube like this okay so now if I take this object and instead I come down here and press local now initially you don't see anything change but that's because this cube is oriented in the same space as the global scene at the moment but now if I press R followed by Z and I rotate it when I let it up now this axis is actually moved so I'm looking at the local axis associated with this object but if I press global again here now I'm looking at the original XYZ and you can verify that because you can see the on the grid there's green for Y and red for X and these colors are really powerful because with time you might uh, eventually want to rotate something or scale something and it's a quick reference to just look at this line and see what line you want to rotate it on like for instance if I go back let me just I'll go back to the beginning again and if I wanted to rotate something on the y-axis I know that's y immediately so I just press R followed by Y and then I'm rotating on that axis like this okay so that's it for to start with but now there's another more powerful feature for using this and that is like this um, let me let me just scale this down just a little bit okay so now in fact I'm going to look at it from above and I'm going to go into ortho mode by pressing 5 on the keyboard like this I pressed 7 to look at it from above I'm going to hold down the shift key and then hold down the mouse wheel and then I can just move this into the center where I want it like this okay so let me see 7 5 whoops there's my top perspective alright so now I'm looking at it and you can see there's the red line and the green line like this so now I'm going to take the object and rotate it on the z-axis again I'm still looking at the global axis for the moment like this so RZ I've rotated it like this when I let up the global axis is still pointing there if I look at the local axis sure enough X has moved over to this side and this is in this location and I'll go back to global for a second Now, normally when you move something in the scene you can either grab the arrow w with the left mouse and move it like this or move it up here like this in the wide direction and let's say I wanted to place a bunch of cubes say around a circle but all oriented you know with maybe uh, the face in one direction so I'm going to go back to let's see hang on 
I'll go back to here and let's say I wanted to move it so this face was always pointing out in that direction. In fact, I'm going to go back into ortho mode, make sure I'm there. Mm. Guess not for the moment. So I've moved it along there, but if I wanted to move, if I wanted to rotate it on Z like this and move this so this face was still facing that direction but up here I'd have to move this over here like this and then I'd have to move that over there like that all right to be able to see it all right, I'm in ortho mode like this so you can see it better and that's kind of a little tricky so the easier way to do it is instead uh, you can press the G key followed by X and that'll move it only on the x-axis like this and I place that there and then I press G followed by Y that'll move on the y-axis like that so that's one way and I'm going to press Control Z and move it back but an easier way is you press G followed by X so that's moving it on the global axis but then if you immediately press X again before clicking your mouse then it, it basically initiates the x-axis in the local direction so now it'll move on your local x-axis like this all right and then you, I'm, you still don't see it because I'm in global but if you look at the global local there it's moving in that direction which it points all right so that's a really powerful trick for both modeling and for when you're working in the programming environment within Python in Blender all right well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson